I love being a Zulu. One thing about me. I love being um Zulu. I, I, I think I articulate better when I am there. A Zulu is a Zulu. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Cindy Ndombele. I'm so pleased to be here today. You mostly know me from SOP Volume 9. Today we're going to be speaking about the spirit behind the song Lingwele Ikamalako, which was done in Spirit of Praise Volume 10. Welcome. Okay, let's hear it for the very first time. <laughs> Bye. I absolutely love the intro. Absolutely love the intro. Do, 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 do. Dum, bum. I do, do. Big up to the band. Thank you. Hallelujah. See, people are, are, are already singing along the song. You know, they're singing along as if they've known the song, they've, they've heard the song before. Wow. There's a story behind this, this song. <laughs> so uh, we were supposed to submit two songs for the recording. Actually, I didn't know which song I will do. I had five songs instead of two songs. So I went to the rehearsal and then we started off discussing the songs, trying to get the feel which one would best fit for the album. And then I happened to hear Bishop's song. These are supposed to be Bishop Benjamin's song. Sabu suggested that, can you listen to Bishop's song? Maybe you would end up loving it. Well, I fell in love with the song and I love the song and I could relate with the song. That's how I got to sing Ulingweli Gamalako from Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. <laughs> Choir. I absolutely love how the choir articulates. I absolutely give me SOP choir. Somebody, please. <laughs> They're doing great. The song is very close to my heart. It's something that I live with and get to know it and meditate on every day of my life. It's part of me. Lingweli Kamalako means your name is holy. And it continues to say, There is no one else like Jesus. In my heart, you reign. To me, it's a testimony that who God is, of who God is, and how merciful he is. Lingweli Kamalako, your name is holy. There's no other name above the name of Jesus. There's a place whereby I say, Ungalalabandu. You know, do not be dismayed. Do not be misled by anyone. There's none other than the name of Jesus. There's a bit of a vocal fry. Just to put on an emphasis of the gist of the song. Your name is holy. I was introduced um, into the family of Spirit of Praise um, from me working with Udu Mim Coxted. And that's how I was introduced to the family of Spirit of Praise. It is a very nice environment. It's a beautiful environment, an environment where one grows. There's a lot that I've learned about myself. There's a lot that I've learned about the industry. There's a lot that I've learned of, of working with other people. Um, we are singing with the most talented singers and I am amongst the great. So being part of the spirit of praise has really humbled me and it has made me see the grace of God. God can just pick a girl from KZN. God can use anything and anyone. I used to look down upon myself, um, but I believe as time goes by, I gain confidence. Spirit of praise 
is a huge platform. And for me, it was very intimidating. You know, I used to be very scared being Sahaba. But um, having Benjamin Dube there, having Abo um, Omega, people that are there to just um, push you and, and advise you, having Udumi right behind me and besides me always made me so comfortable and it produces the good fruits that you guys see today. Uh. Yes, there's another vocal fry. I don't know, it just comes. You know, I think it's something that I think it's how I really stress out the message. That's how it, it is for me. Lena man, like, you know, the name of the Lord is so powerful. My definition of a vocal fry is when I start to put an emphasis using my voice to whatever that I am saying. Meanwhile, if I was singing softly, I was introducing the song. And when we get to the climax, now that's when I would start emphasizing or preaching. And um, for me, that would be my voice and then my tone would change to put more emphasis on the song. An example. That was too much, but yeah. <laughs> Now we're introducing the song that everybody is fond of. Everybody knows the song. We've been singing this song for years. The response that I got from the social media, one, people love the song, and more especially because it consists of the other song that is old, it's an old song. So that's a song I grew up singing. So I think people love the song and people can relate with the song. Um, it consists of just one message. There's none other than Jesus. There's nobody else than Jesus. It's a message that you preach out there. It is Christ and Christ alone. And in spirit of praise, I believe that we stand for that message. It is Jesus, it is God and God alone. <laughs> Also for me, it is ministry. I believe that music for me is truly another way that the Lord used specifically gave me to just share the word of God. You know, when this verse came that once um, the disciples went to a temple and there was a guy, there was a beggar sitting there and he asked for gold, he asked for money. And the disciple says, silver and gold, we do not have. Oh, but the name of Jesus. Ooh, this song for me is like that, Uguti. So singing and putting a scripture there, it, it just comes. It just comes. The song, every time that I get to sing, there's always the word of God accompanied by each and every line there will be a scripture. Maybe if you, you've seen me, I've, I'm a bit a bit shy, you know, starting off the song. Maybe the key is not comfortable for me because I'm used to on higher keys. But the minute I let go, the minute the, the scripture comes, then I'm gone. I am absolutely gone and um, guys, I'm for the Lord. <laughs> I hate this part. Oh, Jesus. I, <laughs> somebody said, um, whenever, like when they saw this clip and then they said, when Cindy Dombela sings, it's like she's telling Umgosi, you know, <laughs> she's one of those women from the neighborhood said, Maki, hey, hey, and that's how I articulate the message, you know, um, it's just, I relate a lot with the song. I've grown massively one self-confidence. I used to be very low self-esteemed. Um, I remember when I came about, I did not know I could put through. I've always sang Agudingwa um, Nasibani. I've always sang it. I've always known that I can. Um, but then when it was time for me to sing it in spirit of praise, 
Whew, it was the hardest. I remember when we had sound check, my voice was husky. It was horsey. I didn't know what, what, what to do. I was so frustrated. I was so stressed and I felt so sick. Secondly, I've learned to be comfortable in singing English songs. <laughs> I used to be so comfortable using my own language. Um, so being here has made me grow to just be open and to grow also into articulating the gospel in English. I am looking forward to grow even in Venda, in Sutu, in Swana, whichever way. What I like about the Spirit of Praise is that we are a group of musicians, different um, languages, different cultures. So as I am in the Spirit of Praise, I get to learn, I get to experience other people's cultures and language as well. I'm glad the bishop is dancing. <laughs> we did it well. Bishop, did I do well? The most challenging part for me um, with this song in particular, I wasn't sure if I will articulate it well in the way that Upishop had planned when he arranged the song. So for me, the most challenging part was that am I going to do well? Am I going to articulate it perfectly the way it, it should be? I love being a Zulu. One thing about me. I love being um Zulu. I, I, I think I articulate better when I am there. You know, yeah. A Zulu is a Zulu. <laughs> I dance. I gear. I sing. I kneel down. There's a part where I, I, just, I just get lost. And I think I was within the power of the Holy Spirit where I just... You know, guys, I don't know how to explain this. Sometimes it's like, right now, right now, the Lord, can you just come? <laughs> it literally feels like I'm, I'm just going to fly. You know, something is just going to happen because the power of the Lord is so tangible. One thing about the name of Jesus, I cannot talk about it. I cannot mention it. I cannot speak about it. Nothing happens. So surely... Because we are out here and speaking about the name of Jesus, how powerful the name. As as the choir sings um, the song, I absolutely um, spread out what how how much powerful the name of the Lord is. How much and immediately I, I zone from that to that. It's when the Holy Spirit takes over, and everything is just upon him. I'm under the sanctuary. I'm under the power and the hand of the Holy Spirit because of the name. We are speaking about the name. We cannot speak about Jesus and nothing happens. I absolutely love the song. I love the sound. I love the choir, I love the band, I love everything. And what I love the most is that Spirit of Praise band would understand you and they would give you what you require, even if you did not tell them. They just do. Sometimes you're just being pushed by them whenever you feel like, I know it's not working for me, maybe let me just be lenient. No, 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 no. They will push you to the right path. So I love it. I absolutely love the song. What one can take um, from the song is the word of God. How powerful the name of Jesus alone is. Um, it is so powerful. It has been entrusted by God himself. Um, he has given us the name that is above all the name. So in this song, take the name of Jesus. If you could just walk away, if there's one thing that you can take from the song, the name of Jesus. Hey guys, it's Cindy Ndombela here. Thank you so much for stopping by to learn about the spirit behind the music. Um, see you next time. Cheers.